Abigail Baker? Here. Georgia Cooper? Here. Sheldon Cooper? Georgia, where's your brother? I don't know. Since I no longer had a college class with Dr. Sturgis to stoke my intellectual fire, I needed to find someone else who was up to the task of being my mentor. A great mind, a once in a generation thinker. Fortunately, my schedule was wide open. Schools in session. Solution is a homogeneous mixture consisting of a solute and a solvent. The solute is the substance that is being dissolved. A squared plus B squared equals... Everything all right with Sheldon? How much time you got? Why? Hadn't been in P.E. since Monday. Really? Mm -hmm. He's here. I drove him. I can't find Sheldon. You know where he is? I promise not to say. Tam? Lucky for you, I'm weak. Are you kidding me? I knew Tam was weak. What do you think you're doing? Exploring the impact of the French invasion on Imperial Russian society. Well, get out of here. You're going back to class. No, I'm not. Excuse me? I don't learn anything in class, but in here I've taught myself the applications of gravitational lensing, Faraday's law of magnetic induction, and how to whistle. Well, sound came out yesterday. You can't spend your day in a broom closet. It's no longer a broom closet. It's now a citadel of higher learning. Hope you're happy. Your mother and I are fighting now. There's a closet. It, my son made a citadel. Never mind. <laughs> what are you doing? Watching last week's Professor Proton in my mind. Moon pie. Good news. You can start going to your college class again. Dr. Sturgis is back? No, but his friend, Dr. Linkletter, is going to let you come and take his class. But I take Dr. Sturgis's class. Is it lecture-based? I don't know. What's his interpretation of quantum mechanics? I couldn't say. Where'd he get his doctorate? From the University of Shut Up and Say Thank You. Thank you. Same room, different teacher. Same night, different time. This is a real roller coaster. Yeah, it's wild. Connie, so nice to see you. Nice to see you too, Sheldon. This is Dr. Linkletter. Hello. I've heard so much about you. Apparently not how I feel about shaking hands. Well, and I'll be out in the hall if you need me. Just a warning. Today's lecture is rather advanced. Don't worry. If you get confused, I'll be right here in the front row. Okay. We're to take the ends of the strings and connect them to a ten-dimensional membrane. Yes, show me. Dr. Sturgis taught us that if you leave the strings open, it allows far more possibilities. We don't believe you need open strings anymore. That's an older model of thinking. <laughs> now. Yes, yeah, Sheldon. Just because something is older doesn't mean that it's not still good. Original Star Trek is older than Next Generation, but if you think that Mr. Data is better than Mr. Spock, you don't know what you're talking about. We don't need open strings. We just connect them to a D-brain. But your theories can't recreate the known symmetries of the real world. Everything OK in here? More than OK. We're having a spirited debate on super string theory. Very spirited. Were you ready to go home? Yes. Unless Dr. Link. He's ready. I guess we'll see you next week. It sounds good. No wonder Sturgis went crazy.